Setting up Linktree might seem like just another task on your to-do list, but let me tell you, it's worth it. Whether you're launching a blog, a personal website, a small business, or even just want a better way to organize your social media, this tool can be a game changer. You don't need to have a huge following or an elaborate business plan. It's for anyone who needs to share multiple links without making things messy. You know how people always say, link in bio? That's exactly where Linktree comes in. It takes one simple link, and inside that, you can have as many as you want. It's like a digital hub, and you don't have to keep changing it every time you have something new to promote or share. It's one link that stays put, while inside it, everything can change as often as you need. Let's break it down step by step. Not too technical, though, because who has time for all that? First, you go to the Linktree website, right? It's super simple, just type in linktree in your browser. It's one of those web addresses that looks a little quirky, but you get used to it. Now, when you land on the homepage, the first thing you'll see is a sign-up button. You can't miss it. Just click it, and from there, the process is as straightforward as signing up for anything else online these days. You put in your email, set a password, and boom, you're on your way. There's a free version, which most people start with, and then there are paid options if you ever want to unlock more features. But seriously, for getting started, the free version is more than enough. After you've signed up, Linktree will ask you for some basic info. Stuff like what your account is about. It's nothing too deep, just a way for them to categorize you. You get options like fashion, tech, health, travel, that kind of thing. You pick the one that fits closest to what you're doing. It doesn't have to be exact, just whatever matches up the most with your purpose. Even if you're not sure yet, you can always change it later. Once that's done, you choose a username. Now, this part's a little more important. The username becomes part of your Linktree URL, the link you're going to be sharing, so you want to make sure it represents you or your brand in a way that feels right. Try to keep it simple and unique. You don't want something that's a pain for people to remember or type out. Once you lock that in, you're officially in the game. Now you're in your dashboard, and this is where you'll spend most of your time when you're setting things up or making updates. You'll see a clean layout with options at the top, like links, appearance, settings, stuff like that. It's all pretty intuitive, so you're not going to feel lost. Let's talk about the main thing you're here for, adding links. That's the bread and butter of Linktree. You'll start by clicking the Add New Link button, and from there, it's as easy as typing in a title for your link and pasting the URL. The title is what people will see, so make it clear and inviting. If you're linking to your latest blog post, for instance, something like Read My Blog Post works better than just blog, because you want to draw people in. Once you've got the title, you drop the URL right in, and there you go. You've added a link. But that's not all. You can customize each link a little to make it more eye-catching. For example, you can upload an image or use one of Linktree's built-in icons. Say you're linking to your YouTube channel, you might want to use a YouTube logo or a related image to make it stand out. These little touches can make a big difference because they draw the eye and give your visitors a better idea of what they're clicking on. It's all about making things as easy and appealing as possible for the people checking out your page. Once you've added your links, you can move on to customizing the appearance of your link tree. The free version offers a few basic themes, which are basically preset color schemes and layouts. They're simple but effective, and honestly, for a lot of people, they're enough to get the job done. If you want something more personalized, like changing fonts, adding your own colors, or getting a little more creative, that's where the paid version comes in. But we're keeping it chill here, so let's stick to the basics for now. Pick a theme that suits your style, and you're good to go. Even with the free themes, your link tree will look clean and professional, which is really the whole point. Alright, now you've got your link set up, and you've picked a theme. The next step is sharing it with the world. You'll notice your unique link tree URL right at the top of the dashboard. Copy that, and start sharing it wherever you need to. Drop it in your Instagram bio, put it in your Twitter profile, share it in an email signature, wherever people are going to find you. The beauty of Linktree is that once you've got it set up, 
you don't need to mess with it every time you have a new link to share. You just update your Linktree dashboard with the new link, and anyone who clicks your URL will see it. It's all about keeping things easy for both you and your audience. Now, let's talk about analytics for a second. Even with the free version, Linktree offers some basic analytics, which is pretty cool. You'll be able to see how many people are clicking on your Linktree and which links they're clicking on. This is super useful if you're trying to figure out what your audience is most interested in. For example, if you've got links to your blog, your online store, and your YouTube channel, but you notice that most people are clicking on your YouTube link, that tells you something. It helps you understand where to focus your efforts. And if you ever upgrade to the pro version, the analytics get even more detailed. You can track clicks over time, see how different links perform, and even integrate with tools like Google Analytics for deeper insights. One more thing. Linktree also lets you collect payments if you need to. Maybe you're a creator and want to offer exclusive content or sell products directly through your Linktree. There are options for that. You can link to payment processors like PayPal, and it's all integrated smoothly. This is a great way to turn your Linktree into more than just a collection of links. It becomes a place where your audience can engage with you in meaningful ways, whether that's through subscribing, donating, or buying something. And let's not forget about some of the more advanced features that come with upgrading. If you go pro, you can also collect email addresses and phone numbers directly through your Linktree. This can be super useful if you're building an email list or running a newsletter. Imagine being able to gather contact info right from your Linktree and then use that to engage with your audience even more effectively. Plus, with integrations for tools like MailChimp, it's easy to take that data and use it for your marketing efforts. Another cool feature of Linktree is the ability to embed media like videos, music, and even your latest podcast episode. If you're a creator or run a business that's content-heavy, being able to embed this kind of media directly into your Linktree adds a whole new layer of interaction for your audience. They don't have to leave your Linktree to check out your content, they can engage with it right there, which is super convenient. There's also the matter of sensitive content. If your Linktree includes material that's only appropriate for certain audiences, like age-restricted content, there are settings to help with that. You can enable an age gate that will prompt visitors to confirm their age before viewing certain links. This is useful if your content is meant for mature audiences or if you're running a business that deals with adult-oriented products or services. It helps keep everything above board and make sure that your Linktree complies with whatever regulations you need to follow. Let me touch on something that's often overlooked. The sense of simplicity Linktree brings to your online presence. In a world where people have multiple platforms, businesses, projects or creative outlets, it can be overwhelming to manage all those links. Linktree simplifies that. It's one link that houses everything, and it's dynamic. You're not stuck with a static link that you have to update all the time. Just log into your dashboard, add or remove links as needed, and your Linktree evolves with you. It's that kind of flexibility that makes it such a valuable tool no matter what you're doing. So yeah, whether you're a content creator, business owner, or just someone who wants to keep their online presence organized, Linktree is an easy, effective solution. You don't have to overthink it. Just get started with the basics, add your links, and see how it works for you. You can always come back later to explore the more advanced features if you need them. And trust me, once you start using it, you'll wonder how you ever managed without it.